Please welcome to stage my friend, he's very, very funny, Mitch Hedberg. All right, there are a lot of people in the bathroom, so I don't want to waste this, these jokes. So I'm gonna hang out for a little bit. Are there speakers in the bathroom? All right, well, fuck it, let's do it. I'll just, uh, I'll save my more physical stuff for later. This is all audio. To the people in the bathroom. How's it going in there? <laughs> That's old shit. You know, this improv sign is all over. All the improvs have it. And the one in Tempe, Arizona, the improv in Tempe, the sign is made out of gold. I swear to God. And at the end of the week, the dude wasn't going to pay me, so I stole the M. Because <laughs> the M seems like it weighs the most. <laughs> Followed by the R. Then the P. The P was one little thing away from being just as heavy as the R. <laughs> then I had a gold M and I said, you wanna buy a gold M? And the dude said, no, what the fuck do I need a gold M for? Well, how about a gold W? <laughs> I had a bad set here last night and they added an E to the end of the sign. Now let me ask you this. Why do you think there's a brick wall behind comedians? Maybe in the old days, there was a wolf that did comedy and he wasn't that funny. All the old clubs had straw in the back. But the wolf would have a bad set and then huff and puff and fuck shit up. Then we went to sticks. And once again, he huffed and puffed and the motherfucker fucked shit up again. Now we're at bricks. The wolf ain't funny, but he can't do shit. That's the improv fairy tale. When I was in the DC improv, they would use my name for everything and it was embarrassing. Like after the show, I'd go hang out in the green room and like there'd be maybe two people who wanted me to say hi or take a picture, but two people out of 200. And then they would get on the microphone and go, ladies and gentlemen, we need to clear out the showroom. Mitch Hedberg is not here anymore for two fucking people. So that means 198 people were saying, who the fuck gives a shit? <laughs> then they would say, <laughs> it goes on, listen to some more. <laughs> then they would say, ladies and gentlemen, please do not yell Mitch's jokes during the performance. Because like one guy yelled a joke out and I got upset because uh, he was too drunk. Anyway, fuck it, I gotta work on that, but it's so fucking funny. <laughs> they were using my name and making me look like an asshole. Trust me, it's hilarious. <laughs> Go into my head, then come back out and tell me I'm wrong. I got a door deal here. I'm working for 50% of the door, and then tomorrow I'm working for 50% of the door, and then on Sunday I'm gonna have a door. I think I'm gonna go with the screen door because it's open, but not for mosquitoes. <laughs> they gave me a table here. This is the best thing ever. I enjoy having a table. This stool was not a good table because it's too puffy. <laughs> Shit was falling off. You ever notice tables don't have a cushion on top because the butter would fall off or the salt and pepper. You guys know what I'm talking about? I don't. So you got, someone's got a hat that they're not wearing. Either that or that table is fucking hip. <laughs> That's a downtown table with a Kango. Man, that table's badass. Either that or it has a bald spot. I like this thing that they put on the table. You keep the souvenir glass, 
What else would you do with the souvenir glass? You don't, you always keep souvenirs. <laughs> I picked up some souvenirs. Let me see them, I left them. <laughs> I wear glasses, I stopped wearing them this show because when you wear glasses and you talk to someone, you always think they're outside of a window. <laughs> it's like, hey, why don't you come inside? <laughs> it's raining out. <laughs> By the way, I smoke a pipe, you know, tobacco, not, not weed, but uh, you can't smoke in California in uh, restaurants unless it's part of your act, so I had to make this part of my act. <laughs> so here, here's how it is part of my act. I have a pipe. <laughs> now. Remember that show, My Three Sons? That'd be funny if it was called My One Dead. Or, That'd be funny if you were a drummer and you accidentally grabbed two magical wands instead of drumsticks. <laughs> You're pounding out the beat. One, two, three, four. Oh shit, my bass player is now a can of soup. <laughs> Sorry, Rick, I mean cream of mushroom. <laughs> I'm sick of soup of the day. It's time we make a decision. I want to know what the fuck soup from now on is. I got a vest. If I had my arms cut off, it would be a jacket. I saw a lady on TV. She was born without arms. Literally, she was born with her hands attached to her shoulders. And that was sad. But then they said, Lola does not know the meaning of the word can't. And that to me was actually kind of worse in a way, you know? <laughs> not only does she not have arms, but she doesn't understand simple contractions. <laughs> it's very simple, Lola. You just take two words, you put them together, and you take out the middle letters, and you put a comma in there, and you raise it up. <laughs> I got an idea for sweatshops. Air conditioning. Problem solved. <laughs> hey man, I, I wanna, I would imagine the inside of a bottle of cleaning fluid is fucking clean. <laughs> I've been traveling by hot air balloon. Those fuckers are unpredictable. And when does the gig start? Thursday, is it downwind? <laughs> no? Shit, can we start it on Friday? You don't need a pilot's license to run a hot air balloon, do you? Anyone know that? Anyone here from New Mexico? <laughs> but you don't need one, because like, cause someone came after you, say, hey, give me the, your license. Let's fucking cut the sandbag. <laughs> Here's my license, dude, it's a scissors. <laughs> Snip, later. I want to ride in a cold air balloon. I'm afraid of heights and I don't want to leave here. Well then take a ride in my cold air balloon. Cause we ain't fucking going anywhere. I bought an acre of land in South Dakota in the Badlands. I got me an acre of bad land. That shit is mean. Like it's land, so that means it's, you know, like dirt that's horizontal. And there was an animal walking across it. And since the land was bad, it opened up and swallowed it. <laughs> that's fucking dumb. If I had a dollar for every time I said that, I'd be making money in a very weird way. Yeah, yeah. If I was a headless horseman's horse, I would fuck with that dude. Yeah, we're going that way. 
We're not headed towards the hay. Imagine if a headless horseman had a headless horse. That would be fucking chaos. We need a head. Oh, I got a new headless horseman joke. I'd hate to be the headless horseman's dentist. You wouldn't make very much money. I love haunted houses. I want to open up my own haunted house, but there's too many. The market's saturated. I got to open up something else haunted, like a haunted motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, I know it ain't much, but sit on it. It'll scare the shit out of you. <laughs> I like when people laugh for no reason. Like that lady over there. What am I drinking? NyQuil on the rocks. <laughs> For when you're feeling sick but sociable. <laughs> now, is a hippopotamus a hippopotamus or a really cool apotamus? There's a uh, billboard in Virginia. I don't know, there's many billboards. They have the lotto jackpot. It says, estimated lotto jackpot, 55 million. See, I didn't know that shit was estimated. That would suck if you won and go, oh, we were off by two zeros. <laughs> we estimate that you are angry. <laughs> that would suck if you became a priest and the day came where you had to fight the devil. You'd be like, shit, I didn't think that was for real. <laughs> ah, yeah. <laughs> Tried to sneak it in. Oh, I bet you do. <laughs> Holy, don't think about the fact that there might be police around. <laughs> we got, you got some, what do you got, dope? You fucking doper? <laughs> Arrest that dude! Room service is expensive, we all know that. I ordered two tiny boxes of Frosted Flakes, 34 bucks. Tony the Tiger was on the box saying, they're fucking expensive. <laughs> so, uh, you know, there's a, uh, uh, a hotel that I saw that it was built into an old train station. So I asked the, the lady, I said, does, does the train station, does the train still run through here? She goes, no, of course not. But that'd be really cool if it did, because then someone called and said, I need a wake-up call. No, you don't. <laughs> you will be up at 8, 9, 10, and 11.30. <laughs> the conductor says, all aboard, and wake the fuck up. <laughs> hey, when I'm on my hotel elevator, I like to pretend like someone else's floor is wrong. Like if someone gets on and presses three, I'm like, you're on three. <laughs> Dude, I don't think I can ride with you. <laughs> My hotel is haunted. I saw a sheet lying on the floor. Must have been a ghost that had passed out. <laughs> so I kicked it. I wish all my clothes were made out of blankets. That way if I fell asleep with my clothes on, fucking A, I'm tucked in. <laughs> Now, when I was camping, I was looking for firewood, so naturally I was looking for the Duraflame tree. <laughs> I want to go to a tent store. The guy said, what kind of tent do you want? Two-man, pup tent, circus. <laughs> as a kid, I used to jump out beds, but as an adult, I do not sleep on trampolines. I did not follow through with that theory. <laughs> That'd be cool if Spider-Man shot hammocks instead of nets, you know? <laughs> hey, you're not a criminal, but you do need to relax. <laughs> now go find two trees that are close together. <laughs> I like those blow-up beds. They say, they, they brag about them. This bed blows up in three minutes. A fucking mattress is already ready. 
but you can store it in your closet. You can store a mattress too in the fucking bedroom. <laughs> you know the tempur bed? The tempur bed is from NASA and it's spongy. And uh, if you write, or if you call, they'll send you a free sample. So I, you know, of course I ordered 1,400 free samples. <laughs> and then I got some glue. Basically, I fucked over NASA. <laughs> which makes me scared of their space program. <laughs> steamrollers run shit over to make sure it's good. Like, if they want to test a product, they'll run over with a steamroller. How do you know the steamroller's good? Who ran over... Uh... That'd be cool if you lived with the monster. You would never get hiccups. <laughs> hey, this comedy is all part of my get rich slow scheme. <laughs> and it's working. People say, Mitch, why'd you get into comedy? Were you funny? No, I was just good at holding ice cream cones. What's that, my man? Shooter, you need that shooter. It's empty, dude. I got something to put in your pipe, though. You're all about refilling shit. Do you work at a gas station? Yeah, I'll take another one of these, though. What's your name, sir? Phil. What, Phil? Yeah. Oh, I was gonna say Phil, that's perfect. <laughs> your name is Bill? Bill. What? Bill. No, you're lying now. <laughs> you're full of shit. <laughs> you're a plumber, well. Let me get to the question then. What do you do for a living? I guess we're doing this backwards. All right, what's the next answer? Okay, which way does shit run? These are too easy, man. Try to stump me, Phil. Which way? What's next? What's the next answer? Downhill. Downhill. Which way is my career going, Phil? <laughs> oh, you fucker. <laughs> Dr. Scholl makes foot products, right? And he's a doctor, which means he went to school for a long time. But it doesn't take a lot to figure out that stepping on a cushion will be more comfortable. That fucker wasted lots of time at school. Cause I'd have bought that shit from a Mr. Show. <laughs> Maybe even a Senior Show. <laughs> I got New Balance shoes on, but they're old, so I might start falling. <laughs> I don't know about that shit. <laughs> I got my fucking that, right? You know, back in the days of the guillotine, they never got to the two-blade guillotine, like Gillette. <laughs> One blade comes down and picks your head up. <laughs> the other blade slices through. <laughs> a burrito is a sleeping bag for ground beef. My girlfriend works at Hooters in the kitchen. <laughs> you know Benihana? They, they twist their knives and throw them up in their fucking cups and shit. Get Benihana to go, it's totally pointless. <laughs> you go pick it up, did the dude do all that shit? Are you sure? Because <laughs> if he did, I don't want that.
I got a drive through restaurant by my house. They say, we'll get your fast food, drive through food to you in 30 seconds or less. That's too fucking fast, man. I didn't think they could top it. But you know what they did? Because the last time I was there, I saw a dude who looked like me eating what I was going to order. <laughs> like, you motherfucker. <laughs> we ordered a lot of chicken fingers, man. It was about 10 chicken hands, if you... <laughs> I want a chicken thumb. <laughs> it must be accumulating. <laughs> no one ever orders them. <laughs> I love carrot juice, but you know, I went to this one store and I said, you got any carrot juice? He goes, you mean orange? I said, no, carrot. He goes, no, well, carrots don't have juice. And he threw me a carrot. He goes, twist it. I said, fuck, he's right. What's that orange shit I've been enjoying? <laughs> One time I was supposed to be on David Letterman and it was the same night that Madonna was on and Madonna went long so I got bumped. But I got to eat cantaloupe backstage so it was still cool. <laughs> it was already cut up into bite-sized pieces. I got paid $900 to eat cantaloupe. That's fucking unprecedented. <laughs> I rubbed that shit in my dad's face. I said, you never been paid that much to eat cantaloupe. You always had to do it for free. <laughs> I like Texas, because Texas is the only state ballsy enough to have its own toast. <laughs> I love Texas toast, but I do not have a Texas toaster. <laughs> I've got to stuff that shit in. <laughs> Texas toast, man. Fucking Idaho potato, Denver omelet shit. Colombian coffee. Have some breakfast. <laughs> you know the jellyfish are dangerous. Unless they're from Smuckers, then you want them to swim towards you. <laughs> There's a jellyfish. Get away. Oh, it's from Smuckers. Swim towards me and land on this English muffin. <laughs> now, if you're a fish and you want to become a fish stick, you have to have very good posture. You can't be a slouchy fish or you will be a fish clump. <laughs> I had one anchovy, that's why I didn't have two anchovies. <laughs> one anchovy fucks it up for the rest. You taste like shit, I know. <laughs> now, if you like anchovies, fucking go. Seahorses are slow. If I was in the ocean, I would not be a gambler on the horse races. Cause you'd be there fucking days. <laughs> you can't have seaweed as a house plant cause you'd have to water it way too much. <laughs> hey Mitch, you wanna go out? No, I have to water the seaweed. Till when? Till forever. <laughs> I ran some Evian water through a filter, the shit disappeared. It was so fucking pure. I'm an ice sculptor. Last night I made a cube. You know, during the summer they say drinks are ice cold? That would suck if a drink was ice cold, because then it would be impossible to drink, because it would be solid. Here's the pyramid, just ice cold. God damn it! I guess I can lick it. I wear a necklace now because I like to know when I'm upside down. This one commercial said, forget everything you know about slipcovers. So I did. And it was a load off my mind. And the commercial tried to sell slipcovers, but I didn't know what the fuck they were. <laughs> you know, I read last year that MTV's Real World, they got 40,000 applications. That's amazing, man. It's such an even number. Shit. The Guinness Book of World Records was just listed in the Guinness Book of World Records for being the book that has the most world records in it. 
Uh, some guy laughed at that pretty hard. <laughs> Me and that dude are hanging hard. I got a jump rope. That thing's just a rope, man. You got to make the jump thing happen. <laughs> There's a smart ass over there. I can feel it. I had a piece of carefree sugarless gum and I was still worried. <laughs> it never kicked in. I took it back to the store and said, bullshit. Hey, if you have dentures, do not use artificial sweetener because you will get a fake cavity. <laughs> I can read minds, but it's pointless because I'm illiterate. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. If I could read. <laughs> I tried to add on to that joke. <laughs> I got busted. I thought I could squeeze a couple more laughs out of it, but it was not to be. I asked directions to the store. This guy said, oh, that's just a hop, skip, and a jump away. Well, that's not how I'm getting there. You got directions for those who are walking? I like it when they say a movie's inspired by a true story, because that's weird. It means the movie's not a true story. It was just inspired by a true story. Like, hey, Mitch, did you hear the story about that lady who drove her children into the river and they all drowned? Yes, I did. And that inspired me to write a movie about a gorilla. <laughs> I wrote down T-Ski. What the fuck kind of joke is that? I have no clue. T-Ski? What the fuck? Oh, yeah, I remember. I want to go to a lake and put tea bags in there for like a hundred of them for like a week. And then I'm going to tea ski. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm sick of seeing squirrels on water skis. Shit. <laughs> you better get off the water sports, dude. Winter is approaching. <laughs> you better bury some walnuts. Or acorns. Fuck, I fucked up. <laughs> acorns, those little nuts with a cap. Acorn is like a nut that's in winter. It has a hat on it with a little beanie top. Acorns are fucking cute. How come we don't eat acorns? They're a nut, right? We eat walnuts and almonds. <laughs> All right, thanks for the answer. Now in Italy, not Italy, yeah, actually, it is Italy. It's Venice, Italy. They don't have streets, they have canals. So in Italy, Venice, Italy, we gotta keep the kids off the canals. <laughs> in Venice, if you're not book smart, but you do know what's going on, you are canal smart. <laughs> I got canal smarts, bitch. I was writing a letter, I had a problem. I said, Ed, how do you abbreviate Arkansas? He said, I don't know, just start spelling it, then quit. <laughs> I was at the airport, I put my bag on the x-ray machine, I found out that my bag has cancer. <laughs> it only has six more months to hold shit. I play guitar, I taught myself how to play guitar, which was a bad decision, because I didn't know how to play it. <laughs> so I was a shitty teacher. I would never have went to me. <laughs> they say Flintstones vitamins are chewable. All vitamins are chewable, it's just they taste shitty. I'm glad they made Flintstone vitamins because I used to watch the Flintstones and goes, man, I bet you if I ate that dude, I would be healthy. <laughs> That's dumb, man. That's dumb. That joke's retarded. I walked by a record store the sign out front said they specialize in hard to find records and tapes. Nothing was alphabetized.
I saw I was downtown in a, some town, and they had a store, store, store. Then there was an open area. Then they had more stores. And it said in the open area, coming soon, The Gap. I'm like, fuck, man. It's coming soon, and it's already here. Try not to smile on stage, but I, it's fun. <laughs> Performing is fun. I, I spilled some vodka on the carpet yesterday, so we vacuumed it, then the vacuum was drunk. <laughs> the Hoover could not vacuum in a straight line. That's a retarded joke, I know. But uh, it's all right. A vacuum store is just like a guitar store. There's a bunch of vacuums hanging in the window to entice the vacuumist. But they do not attract the same clientele as a guitar store. Because if they did, the vacuum store would be loaded with a bunch of broke fuckers who just wanted to run the new vacuums. <laughs> Let me try out that Hoover. Let me see a hundred bucks, bitch. <laughs> My second CD is in storage. When you have a CD in storage, you have to do in-store appearances. If nobody shows up, I just pretend like I'm shopping. <laughs> That's how I shop. I sit behind a table with a pen. I want that. There's a lull. Lull! That word lull has too many L's in it. God damn it. Lull is almost all L's. L-U-L-L. -L -L. Thank God for that U. Break shit up. L is one letter away from being four L's in a... What, what a <laughs> I thought I had a concept there, but then I realized, nope, you do not. <laughs> See, some of these jokes need work. They're like half there. Unfortunately, you fuckers had to miss out on the good half. <laughs> I am st stiff. Medusa has looked at me. I'm turning into a pillar of salt. That'd be funny if like, you know how Medusa, if you looked at her, you turned into a pillar of salt, like if you're eating and like, this isn't very salty. Hey dude, look at that snake haired bitch. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm, not bad now. Thanks snake haired bitch. I'd like to make eye contact, but it's salty enough. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Man, you guys always hand me the vodka in the hottest glass possible. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's sanitary. Started out as cheers, and after drink eight, it ended in, I want my money back. <laughs> Sometimes when you're too drunk on stage, people get mad, you know, they say, can I get my money back? That'd be funny if people could get their money back for other shit when I was really drunk. Like, I saw Mitch Hedberg, he was drunk, and I want to return this saw. <laughs> I wish they made fajita cologne, because that shit smells good. A fly was very close to being called a land, because that's what it does half the time. <laughs> I got a belt that's holding up my pants, but it's fucking heavy, so it's weighing them down. <laughs> if it weren't for the belt, my pants would be okay. <laughs> but my pants... My belt holds up my pants, and my pants have bell loops that hold up the belt. What the fuck's really going on down there? <laughs> Who is the real hero? <laughs> my hair needs some gel. <laughs> Gel's funny, you wash your hair, then you put gel in it, it's like, it's clean now, let me fuck it back up. I like when they say shampoo's volumizing, because man, my hair is fucking quiet. <laughs> I want to hear what it has to say. <laughs> Shampoo is like, quit combing us, that hurts. 
Oh, fuck, I'm not gonna listen to you bitches much longer. I want to get disappearing ink that reappears later. You spray it on someone, fuck a Mitch! Ah, oh, you fucker. <laughs> Ten minutes later, fuck a Mitch! <laughs> you know when you go to a bar and you want to wash your hands, so you go to the bathroom, and they don't have any hot water. You turn on the C knob, cold water comes out. You turn on the H knob, cold water comes out. It's like, fuck, you cheap bar. But I can accept that. But I just want to know what H stands for now. C obviously stands for cold. H must stand for ha-ha, dude. You thought this shit was hot, but it is not. Now go spread some germs. I want to walk around with an airplane-sized bottle of booze, those little ones, and act like I'm a raging alcoholic. <laughs> Look, bitch. I need my medicine. Fuck you. I need another one of those. You got a dollar seventy-five. Anyone here watch ESPN Classic? Yeah, I did. I, I saw a baseball game on there. The, the guy hit a foul ball. Fucking classic, man. I want to have a show that's called Where Are They Now? But it's about people who are really easy to find. <laughs> Jay Leno, where are they now? Still in Burbank. <laughs> Man, remember that movie, The Outsiders? Then one of the guys' name was Soda Pop. And at the time, it was cool. It's not cool right now. <laughs> Your nickname was Soda Pop. You would be dead. <laughs> All right, that goes out to the old timers. I told the crowd last night to fuck off, but then I felt bad, so I said, "All right, fuck back on." <laughs> I reinvited him. I collect stamps. The easiest way to collect stamps is to not mail shit. How's the stamp collection going? Pretty good, ever since I stopped corresponding with you. <laughs> you know, batteries make shit seem substantial, don't you think? If you take the batteries out of a radio, it's like, this thing's a piece of shit, actually. <laughs> then you put the batteries back in, it's like, oh yeah. <laughs> that has got the weight I need. <laughs> it's all electronics. No, it ain't. It's fucking batteries. <laughs> the thing's a plastic piece of shit. With one wire that goes to the battery to the operation board. <laughs> I know, I don't know what I was singing there. Either. It's a new song, baby. It's called Operation Board. <laughs> I never had a piggy bank, but one time I had some bacon that tasted an awful lot like change. Come on, fuckers. I want to walk off this stage feeling pride. I'm selling t-shirts after the show. They don't have my name on them. They're just Hanes three packs. I was at a restaurant. I saw a guy wearing a leather jacket. At the same time, he was eating a hamburger and drinking a glass of milk. I said, dude, you are a cow. The metamorphosis is complete. Don't fall asleep. I will tip you over. All right, thanks a lot, have a good time, all right, man? Thank you.